Got the streets. Got the streets. Got the streets. Oh, yeah. check this out though. I wanted to ask you that. I, <laughs> bro, you did that battle, right? You think you think Swiss beats them? Oh, you some money? That was like the first verses, bro. That, oh like, no, you had, you had the battle. Yeah, friends. no, Swiss Beats don't know. Oh, Swiss Beats is one of my good friends. I met Timberland a couple of times. I would do a versus. I think me and Mr. Cheeks might be good on versus. But yeah, uh, the battle. You want to talk about that? No, not really. I'm just, you know, oh. I'm saying like as far as like. Yeah, that battle turned into all you can drink, all you can eat, smog ball. I was in there for four hours. The establishment. It happened in Atlanta. They didn't have the money. So they, they stopped it. Then they brought it to New York like a year and a half later. And then it was all out. All you can drink, all you can eat, small bog. That could have been the template. You know what I mean? You know what I want to see versus? Red Man and Method Man. They was the first versus because if you look at the magazine, I think it was the source of the vibe. Right. I think it was the source. It was the man versus man when they both drop and then they form voice. Uh, uh, they form uh, uh, a unity. Method Man and Red Man. Man versus man. That was the first versus. Now what about, what about um, you and Corrupt? On oh, versus, yeah, I'm gonna keep Murray is a solo artist with solo singles. Corrupt is my one of my good friends, but I corrupt cannot handle the remix king. I've been on too many remixes, I have too many videos, too many singles, and too many meticulously chop your head off joints. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard though because most most people wouldn't be like, man, he can't he can't see me, bro. Like you know, but Mr. Cheeks, I mean, you he got records. I don't know, no, I don't know, nobody can't match Keith Murray no verses because it'd be lopsided. Either you got you 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 got a wild platinum singles or you don't have singles or you guys. I got joints. I could go for three hours right now. Chronologically, my career trickles down. I could go from uh, Swing It Over Here, Red Man and Eric Sermon, the Hostile, Keith Murray, Eric Sermon, to the most beautifulest, to get lifted, to the rhyme. And then I could just start going down and down the list. I could hit him with the rhyme, Eric Sermon, then the remix. Then I hit with the Mary J. B. Happy. Then I hit with the R. Kelly Home Alone. Ugh, it'll get ugly in there. Oh, man. I, don't do R. Kelly Home Alone, though. Don't do that one. Like, Regardless of R. Kelly, he did what he did. Let's speak about R. Kelly, too, because no, this is the first time I ever talked about R. Kelly, too. He did what he did. No man had the right to judge for another man. He has to uh, deal with what he did with God and those people. I can't judge him, but I know we got a banger, and that's my record, too. So I celebrate that record, and it's the anniversary of that record. Dude. It's going to be a party, y'all. Keep yeah. Murray rap. You can't you, you can't deny that record, regardless it's of what it. he did. Those people got the, the those ladies put their kids with him, and he they say a pedophile or whatever. That's him and God and them people. That's personal. This is music business, not personal music business. You feel me? No. I can't drag that in. Like I can't. I gotta can't drag in. What goes on in the streets, the black cloud over me that I'm getting over me from now that when I was young, I grew up in public, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I have a black cloud over me that's just lifting over me now with my new endeavors. People talk about what I used to do. What about what I'm doing, what I'm about to do? Oh, boss. That's that man sitting in the cell paying for what he did. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to get that record. Uh-uh, that's my record too. <laughs> and R. Kelly didn't produce that record. My boy, the G1 from LA did that record. Oh, word? G1 produced the record. And R. Kelly, he, he stopped all the publishing and everything. He froze the record of ASCAP and BMI. Nobody can't get paid because he said uh, he did it. Yeah. R. Kelly's a piece of shit on the low. R. Kelly's a piece of shit on the low. But I'm not going to down nobody. God forgive me for talking about people. They got their own mental... Um, Imbalances, you know what I'm saying? I can't say what's what's wrong with a person's mind. I'm not God. I don't create people. I only create my daughters by the grace of God. I got four daughters. And I guess that's why I kind of put myself in, in, you know what I'm saying, in the shoes of the fathers of those daughters, bruh. Like, 
But the, the, the father should know. Don't put your kid around nobody. I don't care how old they are. Don't isolate them. Watch your Pete, your kid, or they could be manipulated. My daughters would beat the shit out of R. Kelly right now. You touch me? What well, I'm telling my father. I tell him straight up and down. Nobody violates you. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. For lack of better words, fuck that shit. My I got Brittany, Darley, Madison, and Milan. Brittany is 26. Darley is 17. Madison is 12. She's about to be 13 on December 6th. And Milana be nine on Valentine's Day. Anybody touch you or violate you, tell your mother and father we deal with them accordingly. It's the parents. The parents had wanted to, oh, yeah, let my kid go in there. Oh, let my kid get advanced. Oh, I want to get some money. Watch your kids. I don't care how old they are. I got a 26 year old daughter. Somebody violate her, it's my fault. I got to deal with that. I got to make sure that she's not being taken advantage of and her mind is not to go, go in and go run with that man and do something with some grown ass man. Come on, man. Don't yo, get me started, yo. I'm going to get you started, fam, because I know you would bust R. Kelly in this shit. I wouldn't bust him in this shit. I'll bust my daughter in this shit and I'll bust him in shop, set him on fire. Both y'all motherfuckers is fucked up. But yo, if your if your shorty underage, bruh, you you really can't you really can't be mad she at her. Be there. She should be on the parent guide if she underage. Don't leave with a grown ass man. I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't give a fuck if it's the only thing I respect is my daughters with their mother and their grandma. I don't care if they uncles, cousins, nobody. Somebody what? violates you, you tell me. Before my my daughters know how to fight and they're knocking niggas, they're tear, tear nigga midsection out, rip them out. Don't bruh. play. Bruh, I, I know you could get manipulated. It's different if you're in a situation. You train them beforehand. You fucking some up, bro. Just, just be honest. You fucking that man up if he violates. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm fucking myself up for letting myself put my daughter in that predicament. It's my fault. Keep it real, Joe. You fucking do it up. No, you I'm not. And go sit in the cell the size of a bathroom for the rest of my life Yo. because of my mistake. No, but look, I'm saying like. Listen, the FBI is waiting. If somebody do something to somebody, you kill somebody, hurt somebody, it's your fault. You put yourself in that predicament. He's kid. in a cell right now. These people are going at this man for something he had because he was scared he was abused as a child. Who did that to him? And y'all let him go and let the little girl go off and think it's cool? Where was the supervision at? Now everybody want to cry victim. He's a victim, they're a victim. They all need to be locked up. 